Okay. I'm trying to sell my I'm trying to make a living as well. You want to move out the way, please? We are here for those who can't speak for themselves. Those who do not consent to have children on their back. They're enslaved, exploited and commodified for children's entertainment. Stop teaching your children to accept animal slavery. It's not okay. There are other ways to teach children to care about animals without exploiting them and riding on their backs in the heat. These ponies do not want to be here. They deserve to live free from harm, slavery and exploitation. Stop teaching your children to exploit animals. Stop teaching your children to enslave animals and abuse them. This is animal slavery. It's actually a criminal offence. Pardon me, don't touch me. It's a criminal offence to touch someone's property and to face it. It's a criminal offence and you're on camera right now. It's also a criminal offence to assault somebody. So touch me. We are here for those who can't speak for themselves. Leave me alone. So am I. Don't have to. Leave me alone. These ponies do not consent to being exploited, dressed as unicorns, and having children ride on their backs all day in the heat. This is blatant animal slavery and abuse. Excuse me. Don't touch me. Yeah, you don't need to touch me. It's a criminal offence to deface someone's property and you're on camera right now. A little bit. A little bit, yes. I, I'm, I'm honestly all, all for changing a lot of things. I'm well aware. Stop teaching your children animal slavery is okay. This is blatant animal abuse and exploitation. Do they look happy to you standing here having children in their faces and riding on their backs? Teach your children to appreciate animals by going to vegan sanctuaries, not riding on their backs, enslaving and exploiting them. Stop teaching your children to be animal abusers. There are so many vegan sanctuaries here who actually care for animals and don't commodify and exploit them and make money off the backs of animal exploitation and slavery. Animal abusers, total losers. Are you? Why do you honestly can do you, it? Can you leave me alone, please? No, why do you honestly do it, though? Because I'm speaking up for the ponies who can't speak for themselves. Ta take honestly, a look at her. They're a stronger what animal than what me and you are. Does that justify enslaving them because How they're they stronger? The horse is being stroked by a little child. Yeah, How but is that being enslaved? Yes, but it's got a dress-up costume, but you yep, wear a costume every day as well. But that's, I do that at my own will. Do, you, I, do I they reckon, consent to this? Can they I give if consent? Choice, if it had a choice <coughs> and it could have a voice of its own, I reckon, Wait, I don't think it would You think that pony is an it? Well, it is an it. I don't know its name. You're an it to me as well. Really? Yeah. I don't, what gender do you classify yourself as? She. She? Yeah. So do I. You could at least say they, if you don't know the gender. Do you have to refer it, to she, an animal it. as an it? So you believe they consent to having children ride on their backs? Have you heard of breaking in a horse and the process I have heard of that? Of breaking, I have broken have, in a horse. You have done that? I have done that. And, and you don't consider that to be abuse and exploitation? It depends on what you're trying to classify as abuse. This is also abuse. Abuse is to treat someone with cruelty and violence. Am I being violent? Am I is, being cruel? Is breaking in a horse violent and cruel? We're talking about the ponies Definition here, not about what us. What do you classify as They're breaking the in a horse? To be ridden. All horses have to be broken in to be ridden, and I would consider that to be a form of abuse. Breaking in a horse. How do you stereotype? What yeah. do you mean? Are you asking because the process? There's more than the, yeah, there's more than the simple process of running a horse around a ring. All I know it. is that it involves exploitation and abuse, and they this, can't consent to it. They don't give consent. This is also exploitation and abuse. What do you mean, me standing here yeah. with a sign, yeah. trying to stop the abuse? What? Why is that exploitation and abuse? Can you explain? You're abusing the public. How? You're being a public nuisance. So I'm with, treating people with cruelty and or violence? In a sense, yeah. It's, it's cruel so? for me to you, for you to run around with a sign and 
jam it in my face and actually we were just standing here on the grass and you approached us yeah, so no, did i, I actually past, jam it in I your actually, face i actually walked or, past and grabbed a pen to come and stir yours up okay well well done with that did i come and approach you or did you come to me well, you actually, did i shove the sign in you your face did. or did you come and put you a pen on my did sign when i walked past how what oh you walked past us yeah i did so and me and standing and standing and like this I, I shoved it in your face, me not, standing like not this. when you were standing like this, but when so you you're like actually, this, as I walked past it, I classified that as in my face, mate. So you're more outraged by an animal rights activist holding a sign speaking up for enslaved animals than the actual it, act it of enslaving mean, animals and commodifying enslaved. them? Well, they are, replace them with a human. Imagine a human who maybe doesn't do you, have do the intellectual work? capacities do to give work? consent. I'm a full-time animal rights activist. Hang right, on, listen so to me. Hear me out here. No, I'm not. All right. I'm a full-time animal important? rights activist. I'm curious about that. Because I consider, I put all my time into speaking up for animals. Yep. That is the most important to me. I don't care about money or employment. I'm but here to it, speak it, up it for animals. It generates an income. What? This clearly it generates an income. I'm How sure. so? No one pays me to do this. How does it generate an income? Hmm? How does it generate an income? What's generating an income is actually commodifying animals without their consent and making the money off them. That's who's making money, so... I'm well aware of that. Yeah, so how am I generating income when I'm trying to stop businesses from exploiting animals? How do I generate an income when I'm trying to stop businesses from exploiting and making an income off animal slavery? Well, a lot of people make an income how to stop other people do things. What's the point here? I'm, exactly. I'm here to speak up for ponies. Point? Exactly, what is the point here? The point for me is to try and stop animal exploitation and create public awareness and say that we don't need to be doing this when it's unnecessary. If you're trying to be an activist, you're going about it in a really terrible way. Why so? Because it's triggered you? Made you upset? Not really. Not really. It hasn't made me upset. So what's the, why is it the wrong way then? Because like, I've seen you online do this numerous occasions. Yep. And like, it stirs our public up. Fuck man, I saw so many people. And that's the point of activism, people should be stirred up because we're talking as about a social to, justice issue here. We're talking about a social justice issue We're talking about we a social justice issue. We don't want to shoulders with each other. We're, we're trying to be one. There is hope. Yeah, and I'm just trying to stop animal abuse. Are you vegan or do you abuse animals? I eat animal. Yeah. Okay, would you consider that to be abuse? No, not at all. Why not? There's a because, dead body in your mouth. Because that plant also has like neuropaths. So you're saying that a plant's life is the equivalent to an animal's exactly life? Exactly right. So your life is equal to a carrot? Exactly, 100%. So there's no difference between someone slitting there's your no... throat and cutting a carrot? None, none at all. But you have a central nervous system, does do. the plant? Does the plant I have do. a central nervous system? An animal has a central nervous system. If that animal needs to eat and feels a need to eat me, it will. So that's a justification for you to am, unnecessarily eat animals. Am I upset when a shark eats a human? No, not at all. No, you don't think that's sad? No. And what about in, the animals in forced sense, into the slaughterhouse? It's sad for the family it's happened to, yes, yep. and the people that know that. And what about the animals forced into slaughterhouses because you like the taste of meat, dairy and eggs? What about the vegetables that are forced to be harvested because you're hungry? Are you a plant, plant rights activist? So I'm an activist. Well, if you, were, if you cared about plants, surely you'd know that vegans actually cause less deaths of plants. For example, animal agriculture is the leading cause of deforestation, so huge and enormous amounts of trees are cut down. And not to mention that 80 billion animals are bred into existence. So who do you think is eating more animals? The 80 billion farmed animals bred into existence or the 8 billion if we humans? Don't eat beef? Pardon? What do you think is going to happen if we don't eat beef? Beef or just if, all if animals? If we don't eat animals. Well, then there'd be a lot, hell of a lot less animal abuse and murder, there'd and that be a would be hell a good of a thing. Lot more animals, also. Well, why do you think they're there in the first place? To feed the pyramid. Do you know about supply and demand? Yeah, of course. Okay, so why do you think they're there in the first place? If everyone stopped eating animals, do you think that they'd continue to be bred into existence? Well, they'd still breed, yeah. How so? Because you don't want us to kill them. Do you know how they're bred into existence from no. humans? Do you think it's natural or are the humans doing good, something else to them? A good fucking portion of it mate, it's natural. What do you, I, I how, can a, you explain? I worked on a cattle station, we had over 10,000 cattle, right? And you mean natural by their just mating? Right. We had over 10, well and truly over 10,000 head cattle, well, over 100,000 head cattle, right? We artificially inseminated very little of that. But right. a majority are, right? A majority no, no. are actually raped. Yeah, all factory farms animals are raped. The majority of human are raped. 
A majority? Maybe, yeah, a majority. You can't okay, tell so because every wife out there wants to roll over and give it up for their husbands. So because humans rape one another, that justifies you paying people to rape animals no, and abusing I'm not, and murdering no, that's them? Not Is where that I'm really going. a justification? I'm going at the simple fact of you're trying to say that we artificially inseminate 90% of the beef industry. It's not like that. I didn't, I didn't say 90%, no, I said not, a majority. We, that we, exactly, a majority. Yeah, but that's why they're there in the first place, majority. right? Because we, there is a demand to we eat animal products. We artificially inseminate very, very... Yeah, but very why are they there in the first place? Why? Yeah, because there's a demand because for it, right? Demand. Yeah, that's yeah so if there was no demand, then what would they be there? Would they be what's bred the, into existence? What's the demand for humans? What do you mean? What is the demand for humans? What, can you please specify? I'm not sure what you mean here. Well, what, why, why are we here? Because what? we're breeding. People because are we're having breeding. consensual intercourse. Not all of but us. But why, why are farmed animals bred into existence? Why are farmed humans bred into existence? What farmed humans are you talking about? I feel like you're kind of deflecting here. A the little reason, bit. Yeah. So yeah, you, you agreed that they're bred into existence they because are, there's a demand. I, so I if there was no demand, if a farm like that, yeah, a lot of them are bred into existence. Yeah, that all oh. farmed animals in the meat, well, dairy, well, egg, leather, are wool, fur are only there because people are paying for it, right? Not and so what much. would happen if people stopped paying for it? What do you think? I'm with you on that one. If we yeah. start purchasing anything, it's going to disappear. Exactly. But it's not going to disappear in the fact that it's not going to be on our earth anymore. Would you agree that animal abuse happens in the meat, dairy and egg industries? Does it not happen? No. So you agree that it does happen? Does abuse happen in any industry? That's a good question and yeah, likely no. so. But what if we could eliminate a it's huge abuse, amount though. of abuse and blood off our hands? Then we have hope. And what would be the reason, what would be the answer to that? No longer contributing to those animal industries? No would you say control. that's an answer? We're no longer in control. What do you mean? Hmm? You're in control of whether you buy meat, dairy or eggs or not. You could stop right now. So what is stopping you? What's stopping you from going vegan? Nothing. Really? Absolutely nothing? Absolutely nothing. I've been vegan before. I lived with 13 vegans for like four years. And then why did you start eating animals again Convenience. then? Convenience. Convenience? So do you think maybe that would be stopping you from going vegan then? Just convenience? Convenience? Look at the price of veggies.